accepting to order. We have a couple of people who had pre registered and they are not here yet. And uh, so we will give them the good faith five, 10 minutes or so. But just as a reminder, we're officially in a meeting now, Council. So let's be careful with our conversation. Okay. <laughs> But I can't ask. I hope you all have a good week. Yes. It's cold. <laughs> 70s? It's cold. It's upgrading. <laughs> Forward to this weekend. It's been 98. Yeah. Um, Emily wanted to go for a bike ride today. A bike just around the block. And I was like, okay. And then I was downstairs in my office working and I get a text from her and she's like, I decided it was too cold to go bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really not, but okay. So National Night Out was good. Fantastic, yes. So Kim, what's the uh, feedback from the police department for National Night Out? Good. Very good. Yeah, everybody else had good parties. <clears throat> good. Good. Yeah, it seemed like everybody was in a good mood. The weather was nice and it was uh, started a little hot, so I appreciated the backyard party so close to the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you get to? I have five and one extra. Good evening, come on in. We're just chatting. <laughs> We're just chatting. Are you Trey? Yes. Trey, welcome. Uh, uh, we've got you pre-registered here, so I'm glad you showed up. I, I appreciate your, your being here and uh, taking the time to talk to us. Uh, so welcome, this is our city council listening session. Yeah. And it's an opportunity for you to talk to us and we're gonna ask you questions as we go here. And we generally break it down depending on how many people have pre-registered or how many folks are here. Right. Uh, so, since uh, you're kind of alone with soul tonight, we'll, cool. <laughs> we, we, we limit it to you know, more than 10 minutes, but uh, so let's, uh, yeah. let's have a conversation. And so officially what I need you to do is state your name for the record and sign in when you get done and okay. then fire away. Sounds good. Um, I'm Trey Lowe. Um, I moved here to Bloomington just a year ago and uh, started following along in the city council meetings online a couple months back. Um, and it's been great. Um, seems like a lot of good work is going on and stuff. So I appreciate that. And I just discovered the website and let's talk with it all recently too. And all that was really awesome. So to see what's going on and kind of get great. visibility. So um, the thing that I was excited about that I found on there was the active transportation plan. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that was really cool. I love the map that they had on there. You could go and get feedback and um, the other thing, I like biking a lot. That's that's why I'm excited about this plan. So mm -hmm. that's and I found that the things that people said on there was like all that I've experienced, you know, sort of these things too. Um so yeah. Um so like I, I haven't been on that portion of the talk a little bit. So what are you reading that you're agreeing or disagreeing with regarding the, the plan and biking in particular? Um there wasn't, I guess, a lot in the plan. It sounds like they're giving a report next month or something. So I'm excited to see like what comes out of that. But the thing that was cool to me was just the feedback that they were gathering. So mm -hmm. they actually had a map and you could go on the map and say, you know, I just had a couple of you You know, I would this would be better if it's a different way, or I like this how this is, and that was really cool. Um Okay. Go on. And unfortunately, I didn't find it until after it was closed, so I wasn't really able to <laughs> use it, but it was cool to see. So I guess part of my question is, like, is, that, is there plans to do that again in the future? Or, like, even just, like, it seems cool to have that feedback kind of all the time, you know, or like once a year, like, um, and then is there something that can be brought into that plan where that feedback is, you know, used to, um, you know, I'm sure the plan is more about, like, long-term, like, big capital projects probably, but... And maybe there's another place that's to the outside of this plan where feedback like that is taken and then there you can get um sort of you know the low hanging fruit there's a lot of easy things i think especially with biking when i found like there's a lot of things that could be fixed that aren't expensive or hard even it's just a matter of like you know these streets could be connected at, at the end or whatever you know or like i guess personally the thing that i had the other day i took the 
the bus and take the bus station just down over the road here. And which is actually really hard to get to, even from the city hall. It's just you know across the freeway. So mm -hmm. it's like one thing, but um, the sprinklers were on on the side on the only sidewalk you get through. So it's like Perfect. I had to walk across like six lanes of road to like get around it because it was late at night, and I didn't want to walk a quarter mile back. So you know, so it was like um, stuff like that. Like how you can who who controls the sprinklers and can I get a phone number so I can ask <laughs> them on ask them all night, You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> So, so here's the deal. Yeah. The plans that we do, the, the active transportation plan or any of our long range plans, you're right, they're kind of bigger picture and longer term kind of plan. Right. We're hoping to accomplish three, five, ten years out, that kind of thing. Yeah. That being said, things like the sprinkler issue, yeah, yeah, bring it up to us at any at any time. Uh, right. Call our folks in, uh, you, you can call any one of us or, or call our city manager or public works and, and say, hey, what's the deal? Uh, you know, send, send emails. People are responding to emails pretty, pretty easily as well. So if there are, there are specific things like that, or if you have a suggestion, <clears throat> it would make sense where two roads aren't connected, you know, just make a connection, a, a right. pathway that we can make a connection. Again, it makes perfect sense. The plans that we're talking about, I think, are, are bigger picture. Right. How much, uh, you know, what are the what are the structural or policy issues that we want to change to make it easier to to bicycle, to walk, right, to, right. to scooter around town, uh, to make make it less onerous to to get the bus, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Those are bigger things. Yeah, but the day to day kind of stuff we always want to talk about. Absolutely, right. right. Yeah, Jamie? thank you. Uh, I'm Jamie from Ruby, I'm the city manager here. So yeah. thank you for checking everything out online. Yeah, it's good you do more homework than probably most of the residents. Right. So that's <laughs> it's nice to know that people read our stuff. Right, right? That's, that's what we put it out there for. Yeah, um, I think for the Let's Talk Bloomington thing, even though it's closed, if you have thoughts that you want to contribute, yeah. why don't you email those to us? Okay, right. like the mayor said, you can either send it to city council. At Bloomington, uh, at, or you can send it to staff here, and uh, we'll try to get it incorporated into the other comments that are being compiled by staff when they bring it forward. Typically, when we have large capital projects like that or plans that are being adopted, they'll go through an additional public comment or public hearing phase. Um, so there'll be probably more opportunities for you to get on the record uh, and contribute your thoughts as well. And then, like the mayor said, uh, we're always open to input. So, if there are specific issues that you have, or just bigger picture thinking, um, please feel free to share with us, and we'll make sure that they get into the public. Yeah. Uh, so, two quick things. Uh, one, I just want to let you know something, and the other is an idea that you'll probably like stare daggers at me. But no. Um, Practice now. Okay. <laughs> Um, so just to, just so you know, I'm, I'm part of the Housing and Redevelopment Authority. We just had a presentation on the bridge that goes over uh, 35. Okay. Um, Patrick and Miller for the presentation, and it goes from the 90th Millennial intersection all the way past City Hall. And so this stretch of road here is going to be done okay. with like with bike and pedestrian facilities. I don't mean to change huge. Yeah. but um, right. and there's a short, medium, and long term plan for this area just to improve the. Walkability um, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, walkability right now. Right. Uh, and then the second thing, my idea, and hopefully this isn't already on our website because I'll be really interested. But uh, you know how we have housing projects. We have the map of kind of the housing projects yeah. that are in the pipeline. Right. I almost wonder if it would be good to have a map of Bloomington with some of the big transportation projects. Uh, so I think about that project mm -hmm. I just mentioned. The Oak Grove Middle School Safe for Us School okay. project, which we get emailed about pretty frequently. It's like there's some kind of kind of high profile um, transportation project that if people realized, you know, the things that are happening, right. it may also help yep. um, feel like we're making even more progress because these things do take so long to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so I don't know how hard that would be, but you know. well, I keep everything like, part of the staff. So you're like, we have one. <laughs> no. yep. There, uh, there is on the engineering page on the website. Um, there is a web. There's a website called Major Construction Projects. And for I don't have a an easy uh, URL, a quick URL for you, but um, if you go to the engineering page underneath Public Works, there or or even I searched, uh, I typed into the search feature on the website Construction Projects. Um, so it's just called Major Construction Projects, and it looks like there is a a map of uh, ongoing public works projects. Okay. I have a follow up on that. I've, uh, this is a different map on the bike map. I've looked at it and I've seen, you know, where like the best, you know, bikeable routes are. And I always laugh a little time a bit when I look at it because it's all little bits and pieces yeah. here and there, you know, and none of it's really connected. So it's not very useful for 
people who feel like, oh, it's not very safe for me to bike. Like, yeah, yeah okay. it has to be safe the whole way, yeah. Yeah. you know, in order for people mm -hmm. to feel like they can do that. So I don't know if there's like a map to see like where where are the plans to connect those? Or like, are they there? How can I wait my support for more of those connections? You know, like. So again, the URL is way too long. But that's it. we've got an active biking and hiking map. Yeah, that's the one I'm referring oh, to. Okay. Yeah, Are you, yeah. There's a lot of little bits and pieces that aren't connected, so yeah. it, I yeah. assume it would be nice to know like where are the plans to like fill it out more. Yeah, and I think that's the presentation yeah. we'll be getting pretty soon. Okay. Is the more medium term vision yeah. how we fill all those holes. Yeah. So, so well, did Lonnie have something to add, and Jane jump in? Yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, what part of town do you live in? Uh, I live real close to here, down the old Shotsby Road. Uh, Shotsby on the north south side. On the south side. Yeah. So Dwayne is your person, probably, right? Oh, Unless he's yeah. past 77. Yeah. Okay, so Dwayne's not here today, but I just wanted to make sure you knew that Dwayne Loman was your oh, district yeah. council member. And then, of course, Saul and Jenna are your at large council members, along with the mayor. So you have four choices when you contact folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and second question um, uh, is um, well, a suggestion for the group. Um, I, I think we actually take down our stuff on Let's Talk too fast. I think that we need to leave those things open. Been for longer because I think um, the the process of people getting to know that stuff is out there, and then by the time people know that it's out there, it's closed. <laughs> so if we can if we can do a better job of either extending the lifetime of that or collecting comments even after the project date is like over, so that people can still get their input in, I think that would be great. Especially as we've kind of you know shut down comment areas everywhere else, we are driving people to that engagement platform, and then we're making it harder for folks. This is not the first time I've heard that I wanted to go put a comment in and I was I was out of the out of luck because it happened too fast. So I don't know what our standard policy is, but if we could keep it open for longer, I think that'd be great. That way we could get these things in. Yeah. Yeah, something else. yeah uh, Mr. Mayor, the other thing I was going to offer Trey is our traffic and transportation engineer. His name is Kirby Roberts. And Kirk is also an avid bicyclist. So he's pretty passionate about <laughs> Uh, using that form of mobility, um, we can get you connected with Kirk. So those questions about the bike system, if, if it's not yeah. evident from the map, the conversation with Kirk will probably help clarify some of those questions. To be honest, yeah. Very good. Very good. So uh, where did you come to Bloomington from, and, and what brought you to Bloomington? Uh, from Minneapolis, and um, honestly, with the the lot and all the you know. Right next to Mortar Park, right here. Nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's really what brought us down here. Yeah. So, well, welcome, by the happy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for stopping in this evening. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, let us know if you again let anybody know if you have additional questions or comments about our our transportation and our biking and pedestrian and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And if if you leave your email on your contact there, oh, yeah. then we'll have okay. Matt to follow up with you. Perfect. Yeah, this is great. I um, think it's awesome that you do this and. This is more intimate than I thought it would be because we yeah. had to go into another room online. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole point. Make this more of a conversation yeah. as opposed to some big intimidating presentation and speech kind of thing. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so by making that, it is just the current nature of construction yeah. projects. So maybe it would be. Two years. So yeah. yeah. Like like the fact that we just did this study, right? And there are yeah. there are things in the works. Yeah. Okay. We could probably build something off of this. Yeah. Or if we're even recently completed, you know, the yeah. past couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Getting more time out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Greg. Nice to meet you. Thanks yeah. for having yeah. me. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yes. Yeah. 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 One of my least favorite places is you go down 90th and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then all of a sudden you're supposed to know that you're to turn up like Beard Avenue to get to 86th oh, yes. Street so you could continue on. There's no signage, no, there's no nothing. And then 90th becomes too late, four lanes, and you're like, ah, yep. it's very yeah. scary. Yeah. I know I was very surprised to find out that like the street I live on is like the bike route. Yep, like, it's a bike way and That's nobody knows it. Yep, because there's no sign saying go here. Well, to his point, I when I worked on campus, I would I'd bicycle over to the 98th Street to catch a bus. But my God, what a horrific bike ride that is. Yeah. Terrible walk, terrible bike ride. It's just white knuckle all the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I suspect you know the exact point in the sidewalk he's talking about yes, that floods from the, yeah. the sprinkler at the, uh, the mm -hmm. office building there. Yeah. yeah. Somehow it is the worst during the driest part of the year. Because the, the sprinkler's running.
sprinkler is not the right of no but it's spraying and it's clearly right, right. flooding the right of way yes sure. yeah private sprinkler i'm sure mm -hmm. we've got the 605 and then we will so uh deputy chief Clausen had a ceremonial role this morning bright and early at eight o'clock you want to talk about what we did eight o'clock on a monday morning my favorite thing <laughs> <laughs> uh so we're nine new officers um, so yeah, we have three of our cadets were promoted to police officers. Wonderful. Yeah, and then um, actually all three that we had, so we had to replace all three that we had, um, and then six additional. So we had to be nine people. Okay. And, and I think of our six, is it four of them come from other departments currently? Uh, two, two, and one small security. The, um, the Atlanta the, paramedics. Oh, so the yeah. Female, yeah. she had been in the law enforcement previously, but took a break from it for a little bit. So mm -hmm. she has some more experience previously. But yeah. And then one young, nice young Burlington kid right out of school. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. Okay. The one is a paramedic. Currently. Yeah. Uh, I'm a paramedic. <laughs> <laughs> so. well, and that's, that's great to hear the, I mean, we talk about the pathways to policing, but to hear, yeah, I'm not a paramedic. All security, our our uh, um, folks internally. I mean, that's that's a great way to do it. I yeah. appreciate that. So, good. Congratulations. All right, council. Nobody, uh, no one wishing to address the council. I look for a, a motion to adjourn our listening session this evening. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. No further discussion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. We are adjourning.